Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are revising and you know you all are fully confident for your upcoming phase 1 exam for RBI grade B. बहुत ज़्यादा घबराने की या स्ट्रेस लेने की ज़रूरत नहीं है Trust your, as I say, as I have been repeating in my last few videos that if you have practiced well enough, if you have practiced well enough, आपने marks लिखे हैं उनका analyze किया है अपने basic concepts, you have cleared your basic concepts in all uh, of the required topics and subjects that are asked in the exam. If you have written your marks dedicatedly, if you have analyzed them well, then make sure, then there is no need to get scared or stressed. right have faith in your uh, practice and you know with a lot of practice comes a lot of confidence automatically there is going to be nothing uh, different in the actual examination if you have been scoring well in the mocks you will also score well in the exam as well so all the very best for your exam and uh, let's start with today's current affairs session with very interesting questions uh, as we always discuss in interesting and insightful questions uh, but, but before we start let me inform you about our descriptive writing course descriptive writing course for the rbi grade b exam just a second yes descriptive writing course you will get it at 50% off using the code rbid w50 rbid w50 कोड है इफ़ यू विल यूज दिस यू विल गेट द कोर्स ओनली फॉर फाइव ट्रिपल नाइन मोस्ट मोस्ट मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट इफ यू थिंक दैट यू नीड टू ब्रश अप योर राइटिंग स्किल्स यू नीड सम गाइडेंस यू नीड सम वन टू एनालाइज योर पेपर्स यू नीड वीडियो लेक्चर्स देन वी प्रोवाइड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स इन दिस कोर्स वी विल गिव यू कॉम्प्रहेंसिव टेस्ट फॉर ईच ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इन विच डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू राइट वी विल असेस योर टेस्ट वी विल टेक लाइव सेशंस रिगार्डिंग योर यू नो टेस्ट असेसमेंट्स एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो डू हैव अ लुक एट दिस कोर्स डू जॉइन इट वेल इन टाइम बिकॉज देर इज ऑलरेडी वेरी लेस टाइम बिटवीन फेज वन एंड फेज टू एग्जाम सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयर वेल अहेड इन टाइम इफ यू यू नो प्रैक्टिस वेल बिफोर द एक्चुअल यू विल एक्चुअली थैंक योर सेल्फ वाई द टाइम यू आर राइटिंग द फेज टू एग्जाम दैट यू जॉइन द कोर्स यू नो यू गिव इट सफिशेंट टाइम फॉर प्रैक्टिस एंड एनालिसिस so you all know the importance of writing the mocks already okay and also download our preparation app from google play store from where you can access all the important study material exam updates daily gk and quizzes who uh, let's start with the first question who among the following is not a member of the standing committee of interstate council so interstate council uh, constitution ke article 263 ke under iska provision diya gaya hai interstate council ka एंड ऑफकोर्स पहला इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल हमारी कंट्री में बना था इन द ईयर आई गेस आई गेस इन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट और समथिंग आप कन्फर्म कर लीजिए येस नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइनटीन नाइन्टी में पहला इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल बना था बेस्ड ऑन सरकारी या कमेटी रिकमेंडेशन विच मीन्स दैट इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम गवर्नमेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट कर सकता है द गवर्नमेंट कैन कॉन्स्टिट्यूट द इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल टू रिजॉल्व ऑल द इंटर स्टेट डिस्प्यूट्स एंड इशूज एंड दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी थ्री ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू हु इज नॉट अ मेम्बर ऑफ स्टैंडिंग कमेटी ऑफ द इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल सो इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल के यूजली चेयरपर्सन जो होते हैं ही इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया and there is also a standing committee for interstate council and the chair of the standing committee of that interstate council is the union home minister that is mr amit shah but the question is asking you about the member of the standing committee so mr piyush goel is the correct answer he is not a member of the standing committee of the interstate council so formed so interstate council it works to promote and support cooperative federalism in the country narendra modi uh, is the chairman and chief ministers of all the states and six union uh, ministers are the members of the interstate council 10 union ministers they will be permanent invitees of the interstate council to so, 10 union ministers kon hai let's just quickly go through the name uh, usually usually the composition of interstate council ek bar samajh lete hain prime minister uh, prime minister of the country is the chair 
of the interstate council cm of all of all the states cm of all the states are the members of the interstate council all the states and all the union territories who have legislative assembly which means delhi puducherry jammu and kashmir okay तो ये बेसिक कॉम्पोजिशन इंटरस्टेट काउंसिल का ये होता है और इसमें सिक्स मिनिस्टर्स सिक्स मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ कैबिनेट रैंक आर नॉमिनेटेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड सिक्स मिनिस्टर्स दैट आर नॉमिनेटेड फॉर दिस इंटरस्टेट काउंसिल ऑफ द कैबिनेट रैंक इंक्लूड निर्मला सीतारमन नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर वीरेंद्र कुमार एंड गजेंद्र सिंह शेखावत ओके सो and four ministers of the cabinet rank these are the four ministers of the cabinet rank who are permanent invitees they are permanent invitees to the interstate council chief ministers of andhra pradesh assam bihar gujarat maharashtra odisha and up are the members of the standing committee standing committee ke members ki baat ho rahi hai yahan pe interstate council ke members ki baat nahi ho rahi hai ओके इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल के मेंबर्स कौन होते हैं सी एम ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट्स एंड सी एम ऑफ ऑल द यूटीज विद लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज प्रीम पी एम इज द चेयर ऑफ द इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल हेयर वी आर कंसर्न विद द स्टैंडिंग कमिटी ऑफ इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल ओके एंड द चेयर ऑफ दैट स्टैंडिंग कमिटी इज यूजली द यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ होम अफेयर्स सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर देर दीज आर सम वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट general knowledge okay moving on to the next question we have c space it is the first ever state owned over the top platform of which state government kerala is the correct answer kerala the state government of kerala has come out with first such initiative in the country where it will provide a fair level playing pla platforms to all the low budget films who are not able to see the light of the day who are not able to broadcast their films they don't have sufficient funds to promote their films all over india and even abroad so c space is an ott platform ott you all are already aware what is an ott platform it is launched by the state government of india here c indicates uh, cinema but it also uh, it also means chitranjali chitranjali is uh, kerala state developments uh, kerala kerala state film developments uh, corporations name building name or you know uh, the complex where it is located famous name chitranjali so that is what c space is basically all about of course all the malayalam films will be promoted uh, on this platform as well so it is first such initiative by the state government hence it's important moving on to the third very very interesting question the question is a statement based question that have been uh, frequently been asked in the rbi grade b exam us president joe biden he has the question is first talking about uh, indo pacific economic framework for prosperity right it then it goes on to talk about you know the aim of ipef organization then it includes 13 nations which represent 40% of the world's gdp all these facts and information are given to you if you have already read about ipef in your uh, you know revision and your practice for current affairs you will already be aware of the information that is given in the statement and then it will not scare you or intimidate you but if you are unaware if you by any chance such a question comes and you don't know you don't know about it then uh, you know you don't need to get intimidated you can just skip the entire statement and you know just read the last line of the question just keep yourself calm read the entire question see if you know the answer then you see whether or not there is any scope in the options for you to make any logical guess or elimination if there is no scope for any logical guess or elimination just skip it and move on to the next question there's no need to get scared by such statement long statement based question and that is the intention of giving you this uh, giving you such questions in the mcq as well to train your mind to get in the habit of uh, you know facing a surprise question in the actual examination maan lijiye aapko kuch nahi aata hai just don't get scared about it okay there's no need to panic 
सो आई पी ई एफ है इट स्ट्रेंथेंस द सप्लाई चेन इट एनहस अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर अमेरिकन वर्कर्स स्मॉल बिजनेस एंड पीपल ऑफ इंडो पैसेफिक रीजन इट काउंटर्स फिफ्टीन नेशन आर सी ई एफ एंड सेवनटीन ट्रांस पैसेफिक पार्टनरशिप दट चाइना इज अ मेम्बर ऑफ काउंटर करने के लिए बना गया ये फ्रेमवर्क कहाँ पर लॉन्च किया गया है बाय द यू एस गवर्नमेंट एंड प्रेजिडेंट जो बिदेन इट हैज़ बीन लॉन्च इन टोक्यो दैट इज़ इन जापान That is your correct answer. First of all, or aim care supply chain को strengthen करना. We have already read it in the exact question. Small American workers in small businesses and people of Indo-Pacific region को एक opportunity provide करना. Now the countries that are involved in this framework they already comprise forty percent of the world's GDP. But इसमें हमारे लिए जानना ये जरूरी है कि इसमें India का stand क्या रहा है. First थ्री मिलियन अमेरिकन जॉब्स को ये गारंटी करता है नाइन हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स के थ्रू एंड ऑफ कोर्स द ट्रेड एंड पार्टनरशिप विल आल्सो लुक टू बूस्ट एवेन्यू फॉर क्लीन एनर्जी इट विल आल्सो वर्क टुवर्ड्स क्लीन एनर्जी सो इंडिया इज आल्सो अ मेंबर ऑफ इट एंड इट इज़ कमिटेड टू यू नो वर्क फॉर बोथ इंक्लूसिव एंड फ्लेक्सीबल इसका अगर फॉर्मेशन या फिर ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर इसका इंक्लूसिव और फ्लेक्सिबल रहेगा दैन इंडिया इज वेरी कीन एंड ईगर टू पार्टिसिपेट फर्दर इन इट्स प्रोग्राम इट इज वेरी मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट इंडिया इज अ मेंबर ऑफ दिस पार्टनरशिप एंड द आइडिया द आइडिया बिहाइंड इज इज दैट इंडिया इज फोकसिंग टू बिकम अ ग्लोबल लीडर इन ग्लोबल सप्लाई चेन्स एंड the basis for on which the india wants to become a supply chain super power, super power in the indo pacific region is trust transparency and timeliness that is punctuality so india kis goal ke sath uh, is organization the goal with which india has become a member of this partnership is three t's when it comes to supply chain management and we discuss the three t's known as trust timeliness and transparency all these basic facts this is actually the statement by the government of india and that is why it becomes important from the exam point of view also so it is an open and inclusive indo pacific region it wants to collaborate regional and economic connectivity integration it will increase it will provide employment to citizens in india as well so it is very very beneficial of course It is seen as a counter to I R C E P and T P P. Dono me China member hai and China, of course, to counter the Chinese dominance in the Pacific region, especially the Indo-Pacific region. Okay, so ag uh, Indo-Pacific region ki baat ho rahi hai. So let's just talk one interesting question. Let's take one interesting question. The oldest port of India. that dom once dominated the indo specific indo pacific region the mari world maritime trade in ancient history from the ancient times from the indus valley civilization that is lothal lothal gujarat mein yahan pe ek uh, transport and ship ka museum bhi inaugurate kiya gaya tha a few uh, a few months ago and it is a very very important port स्टैटिक जी के वन लाइनर के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी ये इम्पॉर्टेंट है लोथल इन गुजरात सो ऑल दीज फैक्ट्स आर देर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द एग्जिस्टिंग एनर्जी पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ द स्टेट ओन एस जे वी एन एज ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एस जे वी एन इज जल विद्युत निगम सतलुज जल एंड इसके दो बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट्स है इनिशियली इनिशियली द नेम वॉज नाथपा झाकरी प्लांट द इनिशियल नेम वॉज नाथपा झाकरी प्लांट क्योंकि स्टार्ट इसका यहाँ पे यहीं से हुआ था नाथपा झाकरी झाकरी हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट से अनदर हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट इज इन रामपुर एंड लेटर ऑन इट चेंज इट्स नेम टू सतलुत जल विद्युत निगम एंड इनिशियल कैपेसिटी से ये इंक्रीज हो गया अब बहुत ज़्यादा उसकी कैपेसिटी फोर फोल्ड इंक्रीज हो गई है अप टू थर्टी टू थाउजेंड मेगा वॉट्स दैट इज दी एग्जिस्टिंग एनर्जी पोर्टफोलियो एंड द चेयरमैन ऑफ एस जे वी एन इज नंद लाल शर्मा 
you should also know you should also know that this is actually a joint venture between government of india plus government of himachal pradesh in the ratio of around uh, uh, you know 60 to 30 60 to 40 and also sjvn is also investing or taking up power plant projects in wind and uh, hydro energy wind power plants and solar power plants will be a project run kar raha moving on to the next question how much does the central government aim to borrow in current fiscal year in current financial year to support consumers in the wake of high inflation central government aims to borrow how much in the current financial year to support consumers in the wake of high inflation you all know you all know that wpi and retail inflation have been record high uh, last month in april wpi hit uh, the ta- reached beyond the inflation inflationary target that is taken up by the uh, monetary policy committee ka jo inflationary target the wpi and retail inflation they both crossed that that is uh, cpi right so in that way in that way the rbi or the central government increased the borrowing it increased the borrowing first let's have a look at the correct answer to 14.1 trillion dollars in the current fiscal and the government is also considering to spend an additional 2 trillion dollar in 2022 20 free fiscal to support consumers from rising uh, prices in multi year high inflation so basic issue kya hai 2014 ke baad se baad se ab ab ja ke inflation target ko cross kar diya hai both the indices that we calculate that is wpi and cpi usko control kar, karne ke liye the government is planning to borrow 14.31 trillion in the first half itself okay to so, first half of 22 23 that will exceed that will be 60% of its borrowing target for the entire year so it will what will it do it will boost the economy capital expenditure may government uh, you know government will direct this amount in capital expenditure and also to reduce the dependence of state government on uh, borrowing from the external market the government has also extended a loan the government central government has extended a loan of worth rupees 2.4 lakh crore to the state government the government has also uh, extended a further uh, rupees 1 lakh crore rupees 1 lakh crore of loans as capital expenditure capital expenditure mein government invest karta hai so of course there is a job creation there is a boost in economic activity you all already know about it but ye move kyun aaya hai aur kis situation mein aaya hai you you should know WPI WPI inflation kitna tha April mein the WPI inflation hit a record high of 15.8 percent and the retail inflation hit a record high of 7.79 percent. ये April की figures हैं. Of course they won't be asked in the exam but sometimes sometimes remembering these figures from certain months where they reach the peak they can help you in descriptive writing. क्योंकि ये टारगेट हर मंथ यू नो चेंज होता रहता है यू शुड नो मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज टू नो दैट सिंस मे 2014 इन्फ्लेशन अब जाके अपना टारगेट क्रॉस किया है बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स सो दिस जस्ट हैव अ लुक टू गिव यू अ ब्रॉडर पिक्चर ऑफ इट फर्स्ट हाफ में गवर्नमेंट इज फ्रंट लोडिंग इट्स यू नो फ्रंट लोडिंग इट्स डेप्ट ऑब्लिगेशन to help support the economy improve spending push recovery you all know expansionary fiscal policy that is undertaken by the government and of course of course this time agar government market say if the government is planning to borrow from the market it will not create a crowding out effect of private investments it will not create a why because there is a uh, very less demand for uh, such funds in the market by the private enterprises so all these factors are there Moving on to the next question recently the central government announced a cut in central excise duty on petrol by rupees 8 per liter and on diesel by rupees 6 per liter how much will be the burden of this waiver on treasury of the exchequer of course 
the central government earns a lot of revenue from excise duties on petrol and diesel and other other services that the government provide to the people un mein bhi cess and taxes ke through it forms a major source of revenue for the government but the government is providing a cut in central excise duty why because again jo hum logo ne abhi apni slide mein padha because of high inflationary rate uh, the present economic situation has pushed pushed up the prices of even essentials essential essential goods and commodities ke prices bhi kafi zyada escalate ho chuke hain aur usse consumers ko relief dene ke liye petrol and diesel and of course cylinder ke prices mein government has announced a cut in cent the rate of central excise duty and that cut will cost the public exchequer a revenue of at least rupees 1 lakh crore per annum right 200 200 per cylinder on cooking gas for 12 cylinders a year pe bhi excise duty government ne cut kiya hai so all these facts are there cooking gas subsidy bill will be 6100 crore a year so this is quite a huge amount this is quite a huge amount aur is amount ka sara sara burden central government hi isko bear karega and how how has this how has this exemption been provided to the pu- public it is through ric cess component that has been collected by the government over the years and the entire burden of tax cut is being is to be borne by the central government moving on to the next very important question of the day how much is the fdi inflow of india during 21 22 according to dpiit's data तो एफ डी आई इंडिया हैज रिड्यूस्ड मार्जिनली टू फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन सेवन बिलियन डॉलर इट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ लुक एट दिस टेबल फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एम सी क्यूज में आ सकता है डेफिनेटली आ सकता है टॉप फाइव और टॉप टेन कंट्रीज थर्ड लार्जेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ एफ डी आई इन इंडिया ऑल दीज फैक्ट्स कैन बी आस्ट इन एम सी क्यू सो डू हैव अ प्रॉपर लुक एट इट इट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू इन द पी डी एफ तो सिंगापुर यू एस मॉरिशियस नीदरलैंड केम एन आईलैंड एंड यू के ऑल दीज कंट्रीज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टूवर्ड्स एफ डी आई इन इंडिया एंड टॉप फाइव सेक्टर्स दैट रिसीव द हाइएस्ट एफ डी आई इंक्लूड कंप्यूटर सर्विस ऑटोमोबाइल ट्रेडिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑफकोर्स फार्मा सो ये डेटा याद रखना बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अदर देन दैट यू शुड नो ओनली देर इज हैव बीन ओनली वन परसेंट मार्जिनल डिक्लाइन इन एफ डी आई इक्विटी इनफ्लोस इक्विटी एफ में भी एफ डी आई इनफ्लो आता है सो देर हैज बीन अ वन परसेंट डिमांड यू नो डिडक्शन वाई बिकॉज यू एस फेड रिजर्व इज प्लानिंग टू इम्प्रूव द इंटरेस्ट रेट पॉलिसी सो सम इन्वेस्टर्स हैव बीन पुलिंग आउट equity funds and foreign portfolio investment and fdi and equity from india and investing it in the us market for better rate of return so these factors are there minor factors jo changes laate hain but on a major level on a macro level the entire situation remains somewhat stable if the macroeconomic policy is stable so do remember total fdi total fdi has increased total fdi has increased but fdi and equity flow have marginally decreased 2% to highest ever to us 83.757 billion dollars in 21 22 total fdi and flows include equity inflow reinvested earning and other capital may 2022 rbi has set up a committee under the chairmanship of rbi deputy governor bp kanungo to evaluate the efficacy adequacy and quality of customer services banks may nbfc in the banks F- nbfcs and other entities that are regulated by the rbi the panel will identify best practices adopted globally and domestic domestically in customer services and grievance redressal and specially grievance redressal for uh, senior citizens in the country उन पर स्पेशल ध्यान दिया जाएगा सीनियर सिटीजन्स रिटेल एंड स्मॉल कस्टमर्स एंड पेंशनर्स उनको उनको बेस्ट से बेस्ट सर्विस प्रोवाइड करने के लिए व्हाट आर द ग्लोबल बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द कंट्री ऑल दीज फैक्ट्स विल बी अकाउंटेड फॉर एंड व्हाट इज द टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दिस पैनल द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग द टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दिस पैनल सो द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज सिक्स मेंबर कमिटी 
हेडेड बाय डेप्यूटी गवर्नर बी पी कानून को टू इवेल्युएट ऑल दीज पैरामीटर्स एंड इन वॉट एंटिटीज ऑल द बैंक एंड फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट आर रेगुलेटेड बाई दी आर बी आई सो दिस फैक्ट वॉज देयर Moving on to the next question, who has won Sangeet Kalanidhi Award for 2022? The correct answer here is Lal Gudi G J R Krishnan. Lal Gudi G J R Krishnan has uh, won the Madras Music Academy Award. Madras Music Academy का एक बहुत ही important award है in the field of Carnatic music, named Sangeet Kalanidhi Award. Sangeet Kalanidhi Award uh, has been awarded to Mr. Lal Gudi J G R Krishnan, who is a violinist. Okay, and all these uh, other important awards: Kala Acharya Award, Kala Nidhi Award, and Nrith Kala Nidhi Award. Nrith Kala Nidhi Award. Me, Mr. Uh, Braga Bessel has been awarded for 2022. 21 and 2020 के बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट नहीं है बट हैविंग अ लुक एट दैम नोइंग द नेम्स विल यू नो डू यू नो हार्म एंड ऑफ कोर्स द नेम्स आर सच दैट यू विल रिमेंबर यू विल सी इट विल क्लिक द टेबल इज गिवन यू नो पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड विजुअल्स दे हेल्प यू रिमेंबर बेटर सो दैट इज वाई वी हैव गिवन यू इन अ टैबलेटेड फॉर्म इफ यू विल लुक एट इट सो दिस वॉज इट फॉर द क्वेश्चन नथिंग मच टू टेल अबाउट इट बट लास्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आशा ए क्रेडिटेड सोशल हेल्थ एक्टिविस्ट वॉलंटियर्स दे वर ऑनर्ड बाय द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर दैट क्रूशल रोल इन प्रोवाइडिंग डायरेक्ट एक्सेस टू हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज सो इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑनर टू आशा वर्कर्स हु हैव वर्कड ओवर द ईयर्स टू इम्प्लीमेंट ग्रास रूट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स रिलेटेड टू चाइल्ड न्यूट्रिशन women development icds scheme mid day meal scheme even uh, during the pandemic they were very important they played a key role as frontline warriors so their efforts their efforts their consistency their sincerity and hard work has been honored by the world health organization which is a source of pride for our country and uh, the awards were given in geneva switzerland and which edition of this assembly is held the question is asking you that so let's have a look 75th edition of the world health assembly jo ki world uh, health organization conduct karwata hai annually usme 1 million asha workers were awarded for their crucial role for direct access to healthcare facilities okay and of course sanitization maternal care immunization vaccine preventable diseases and community health care mein bhi inka role bahut zyada important raha hai so six leaders uh who decides on who gets the award of course the chief of the who dr tedros uh, gabrielsis quite a dicey name to pronounce but you all know you all already know we have already discussed it the director general of global health readers award is also decided by the chief of or director general of uh, who So this was it for today's current affairs. I hope the session was useful to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh take care. See you in the next session. Bye bye. And keep revising. Okay? And all the very best for your RBI phase 1 examination. See you.